Hello viewers, welcome to the iRobo uh, iRobo Automation YouTube channel. Uh, this video, uh, in this video, we are going to demonstrate uh, how to use uh, compar uh, comparators or how to do comparison in uh, WPL uh, PLC software that is Delta PLC. Uh, from the point of uh, a PLC code challenge uh, that is on October 20th. So this uh, video uh, we, are, we are demonstrating, we are using it for demonstrating of uh, how to use comparators. Okay, <coughs> so let us take uh, the software. Comparators are used in many many uh, applications. So we'll discuss here. Discuss here now. <coughs> Go to file and then take a new file name is. Uh, Say for example, comparison uh, file the model type should be SS2. Okay, double click on the ladder diagram mode, then uh, uh, there is an option here. If you see here, you can see contact type comparisons. So this you have to double click on it, double click on it, there are a lot of options are there, okay, now I will take one uh, start switch and stop switch, say for example start, see here application is say for example I have 20 seconds, say I am using timer 20 seconds, okay after 10 seconds I uh, need to switch on output okay after 15 seconds uh, only I need to do some uh, switching on outputs say for example traffic lights application there is a, uh, at a particular time a particular LED should be on right so in that application it is very useful so I will take start button and then I will take one uh, memory bit here yum m0 is uh, to hold the data of start signal so it's a latching function here is uh, i'll take another um, means another contact of m0 and uh, place parallel to the start switch then use vertical line and then uh, to switch off or to erase the data of m0 i have to use stop that is x1 separate input Okay, so what I'll do is to demonstrate this uh, comparators, I'll use normally open contact of M0 here one more and uh, you have to go to F6 and then take timer here TMR, then T and a K, timer name is T1. Say, for example, I'm taking 20, 20 seconds, 20 means approximately equal to 20 seconds, assume that for our discussion. It's in milliseconds, so okay. Uh, 20 seconds. 20 seconds timer will be on. Okay, that means it is counting the time. Say, for example, uh, before before 10 seconds, I need to switch on Y0. Before 10 seconds, I need to switch on Y0. Let's say, for example, motor 1. That means first 10 seconds, motor 1 should be on. Next 20, next 10 seconds, motor 2 v, motor 2 should be on, motor 1 should be off. So, for example, change over. So, what I can do is, <coughs> there is an option called, see LD, greater than, less than, equal to, less than, equal to LD, letter diagram, less than, equal to is there, double click on it. You will get, means, what we are comparing, time. Right, it's a K value. What timer, T1 timer, there is only one timer here. So that is 100, 100 means 10 seconds, okay. If it is less than 10 seconds, equal or less than 10 seconds, I will switch on Y0. Y0 is motor 1. So initially I want motor 1 to be on, motor 1 to be on. If time is greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to 10 seconds say for example that is 
ld greater than or equal to is there of say for example t and k value t1 only we are comparing with the because only one timer t1 timer that is 100 okay <coughs> Uh, here less than or equal here again greater than or equal then what I will do is I will switch on y1 y1 is motor 2 ok see what happens uh, press enable simulation mode the simulator is here, the simulation mode and then download then online it should be in run mode, go to run mode now I will op see by default motor one is on so when you press start button then timer is on after 10 seconds motor 1 should go off motor 2 be on so it is counting it is 90 100 yeah so this is how we can use comparator it would be useful in many many applications and from the point of computation uh, this command also could be useful I hope you understood. If you have any questions, uh, then put it in the comment section. I will clarify it. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, everyone. All the best from the uh, iRobot Automation.